everyone, it's Clary here. How's it going? I thought we'd have a bit of a chill week this week and I wanted to talk through some figures that I wish existed, um, of which it turns out there are many. Um, and if we get going, to begin with, what I'll do is I'll talk about some series that really are lacking figures, um, whether that be they just don't really have any, have any on the market or the ones on the market are existing are highly inflated. So to get the ball rolling, probably the first one I'll mention is I actually quite like the anime Is It Wrong To Pick Up Girls In A Dungeon. I will confess the last series was hard to watch. I kind of lost interest after that and I am curious to see if there's going to be another season because I really feel the last series tanked a bit. Uh, but until then I really love this anime. There's loads of great characters that are in this anime and there are some really good figures from these uh, from this anime but all their prices are in highly inflated on the aftermarket so to be honest I'd be quite happy if any figure got released from this series but specifically Belkun would be uh, Belcranel, he is my favourite. The other one that also doesn't really have any figures, in fact doesn't have any figures except for Funko Pops, is Black Clover. I would really love to have a really good Asta figure, that would be really cool, but honestly there are several characters that are in Black Clover that I would really love for them to get a figure and yeah there just really aren't that many and I don't understand why because I think this series is quite popular I feel this one is discussed a lot in the figure collecting community and that would be Violet Evergarden. I would really love some figures of this series. I really love the kind of steampunk theme, Victorian theme of some of the clothing and I think Violet herself would, tra would translate really well into figure form. But it's never going to happen so it's fine, I've given up on it. Maybe one day um, I'll end up getting a garage kit or something of her. This one's a bit of a rarer one. Uh, there are some Chinese animes. Can I call them animes? I don't know, but for, for intents of this video, I'm gonna call them Chinese animes uh, that I really like. And one's a bit of a weird one. I'd really recommend for people to go watch this. It's available on Crunchyroll. And it's called Psychic Princess. I personally absolutely loved it. The intro to the series is completely batty um, and reminds me a lot of uh, Gangnam Style, <laughs> the song. So honestly, just go watch the intro. It's very entertaining. It's super weird. But I actually really like this anime. Um, it had a bit of a Tsunde kind of theme to it. And yeah, the two main characters in this uh, anime, I'd really love for them to both get a figure. And also like the little ghosts as well that are in this anime. That would be really cool. Last but not least for animes that don't really have figures, although this is beginning to change, is the King's Avatar. Obviously recently we had a Ye Z um, figure came out. I think that's how you pronounce the surname. Um, but he came in his kind of like anime avatar where he had his sword and actually in most of the anime um, he actually has an umbrella weapon. I, and he has this on the Nendoroid, I would love there to be a figure where he has the umbrella. Like, I'll be buying it if they have it, if it comes out. But I got the sword uh, Yezi figure that just came out because I don't know if we'll ever get that option for that avatar, so I was like, it's better to get Best Boy than not get him at all. Naruto has a lot of figures, but a lot of them are quite, they have amazing resin statues and they have um, like very small figures, but I would love for Naruto to have some actual one to seven scale figures of their male characters, because they've done a really good job with like Hanata, they've got some like Naruto girls coming out uh, at the moment, but the guys are not getting the love and the male figures in Naruto are so good So I would love for Naruto himself to have a really good 1-7 scale Other ones would be Kakashi. I know he got a figure by Mega House recently But I wasn't 100% in love with it Although I do think Kakashi's got a couple of figures out there that are good But there's one one male figure that has like no decent scales, at least in my opinion, and that is Jiraiya. Jiraiya is one of my favourite characters in Naruto. His story arc is so good, and especially the arc where Pain is in the anime. Oh my gosh, I cried so much, but Jiraiya in this arc was absolutely phenomenal. 
and he really, really deserves a good scale figure. <laughs> Please alter, start doing Naruto figures, I beg you. So I would love to have an amazing figure of Jiraiya. Other ones would be Gai Sensei. Uh, I don't think he has a figure. If he does, it's probably a very, very old one, very kind of derby looking one. So I'd really love for Gai Sensei to have a good figure. And I'd love for Rock Lee is actually my favorite ever male character in any anime. I'd really love for Rock Lee to get a really good scale, maybe by Ultra or a company like that. Oh, it would make me so happy if he got one seventh scale. This is an older anime and it's more one that I watched a lot when I was growing up. I actually have two Clockaptor Sakura figures and I adore them, but there's one episode where um, Sakura dresses up as Juliet from Romeo and Juliet for a play and she has the most beautiful princess dress on and I would love for any figure company to make a figure of it. It would just be so nice. And I also feel Tomoyo has a Nendoroid that's highly inflated in the aftermarket. Oh, if they did a scale of her, I would so buy it. Like, oh, that'd be so good. Raftalia, just, I really want a really good figure of Raftalia that I fall in love with. I think she's got some really good figures of her in her traditional clothing, but I would love a kimono figure of Raftalia. Oh, it would make me so happy. I'm like, honestly holding out. Yeah, that would be so good. I would also really love a good 1 7th scale of Nafumi because he really doesn't get enough love and I don't understand it. Like he's got a really nice figure design, especially if he, they did him in like his angry dragon hate fit rage phase. That would be cool. And finally moving on to not safe for work figures. So do a time skip if you don't want to talk about loots. I would love if they did some more DF girls, devil fashion girls. Uh, this is a series designed by Satom. And honestly, his drawings of the different figures, oh, oh, they're so beautiful. I covered this in my illustration books, but honestly, I would take any of them if they do any figures of any of the DF girls. Instant PO. I really hope you enjoyed this. Are there any figures that you wish existed? I'd love to hear in the comments below. So thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like and a subscribe. But if you don't want to, that's also fine. But hopefully I see you next week. All right, bye everyone.